Baby, Hello, you guys. It is birthday prep week. So the first step of birthday prep week is to get my hair done. Um, I quite honestly have no idea what we're doing today. I know I want to stay darker. This is the first time I'm going to this salon with this girl. I've only really ever dyed my hair blonde and I have no idea what I want to do. Like I said, I want to stay dark, but I don't know. I just, it just seems dull to me. My hair just seems dull. It is healthy, which is nice, but like, it's just like, I just need like it needs to be spiced up. We need to get excited. So that is the first thing on our list of birthday prep week festivities or it is currently 9 40 and my appointment is at 10 but if i'm not early for something i am late so that's why i'm here and all of my friends are telling me like yes like stay brown like be brunette like you look good with darker hair i don't know if they just hate me or if that's true because i'm just so used to like having highlights and lighter hair this is one of the inspo pictures here's another okay i'm gonna go so you don't have to look at me like this any longer because this is not good but i will see you in a little bit with whatever hair who knows i might come out with red hair we just never know at this point we're dark we are very very dark okay i'm not used to it yet i really am not um if you know me or if you've been watching me for a while you know that i typically always go blonder i never go darker this is the first time in literally forever i ever actually that i've dyed my hair darker it's just gonna take some adjustment time so the plan for today is to fill my thoughts exactly take church on a walk because he has his last session with this trainer tomorrow so i have some editing work that i have to do right now so i'm gonna edit last week's vlog that you guys hopefully have already seen if you haven't make sure you go watch it um but i'm gonna edit that vlog right now and then i'm going to finish just putting up together some quick little notes for my thoughts exactly and we're gonna film my thoughts exactly so i'll catch you guys in a little bit hi guys so we just finished filming my thoughts exactly the episode went really really well and i'm really excited about it but now i am in my bathroom and i'm working on some organizational stuff i'm organizing all my skincare hair care and my fragrances if you know me you know i am a huge fragrance girly i have this like deeply internal fear of like never smelling good but more than that i also love when people compliment me on my fragrances but perfumes are so expensive nowadays a whole bottle can easily be over like 100 bucks or 150 and you never really even know if you're gonna like it or how much you're gonna wear it or whatever so that's why i've really been into the travel sizes and the minis that's been like my thing for the past couple months and more specifically something that i've really really been loving lately because i do love those mini bottles is scentbird which is also the sponsor of today's video. So if you don't know what Scentbird is, I'm about to put you on big time. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can choose a new designer fragrance to try out every single month for just $17. What I love about Scentbird is they're really transforming the way that people find fragrances and discover them and really create their own individual fragrance style. That's why I really love them and they make the process so easy. Let's say you're like me and you're the type of person where you either have no idea where to start when it comes to fragrances because there's so many different options or let's say you kind of have a little bit of an idea of what you want or what you're looking for when shopping for fragrances. Zembert actually has a quiz that you can fill out that gives you all of these different questions and based off of the results of that quiz it'll match you with what they believe will best fit that fragrance profile that you're trying to create and at least for me Zembert has never ever miss the mark. I talked to you guys about Scentbird years ago. We did a video with them and I've still been using them to this day. So I'm gonna run you through some of the Scentbird perfumes that I have. And something that I wanna say is like, they have so many different options. I'm trying to still talk to you while we're doing this. They have so many different options out there. They have over 600 designer perfumes and colognes. And so you are going to find something that you love. The vials are actually eight times bigger than standard perfume sample sizes, which is amazing. So you're getting a lot more product for a very discounted price. So these are the four that I have been rotating. Again, look how freaking adorable this packaging is. So this is the first one that I got. The brand is called Milk and it's Commodity. I love this just because it smells very fresh and clean. Now this one in the yellow case, the brand is Sense of Wood and the scent is called Plum and Cognac. The first time I saw this, I said Cognac and Hayden almost broke up with me right then and there. This reminds me of like a date night or going out to dinner. Something a little bit like sexier is what this one reminds me of. Then I have this one too, which is called Yoso Vert. It's Vanilla Embers. Just forgive me on these names, please. The scent is what really matters here. And I I love this. It smells so 
so good i love this vanilla one this is actually the one that i keep in my bag definitely more of my daytime scent and then lastly we have this one in this purple case it's i'm just not even going to attempt it this is the name of it this one I also think is very interchangeable. You could wear it day or night. So these are my four scents that I've been carrying around lately and I absolutely love them. I think Sempered hit the nail on the head because these are all the scents that I would have just gravitated towards if I were just regularly shopping for them in a store. And you guys know how it works here. I would never be bragging this much without giving you guys a discount code so we can all enjoy the products together. So if you guys use the code BRIMER55, you will get 55% off your first fragrance, which you guys, that literally brings it down to like $8. This is a no-brainer deal all the links are going to be in the description box below as well for your convenience and thank you again Semper for sponsoring today's video hello you guys we're back so a part of or another part of this whole organization glowing up getting everything in order is to sadly and i'm very sad about this take down the christmas decorations so our tree which used to be right there as you can tell no longer right now i'm going to take down the garland and the stockings i absolutely love christmas christmas decorations it just makes me so happy and it just makes the house feel so cozy and warm so it does make me sad to take them down but i do think it's coming to a point where like now we're like nearing the middle of february or no sorry january and it definitely needs to come down. So I went to the container store the other day and I got these bins. Um, I got one of this size and then one that's a bigger size. I also got like an ornament container. The ornament container was like low key expensive. It was like 80 bucks, but I do think it's gonna last us a really long time, which I'm happy about. But look how cute this is. It's the cutest little stocking holder for the mantle. Is that a mantle? I think it's a mantle. I got it on, I believe, Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel. Oh no, sorry, Crate and Barrel right here. It's just so cute. And same with the stockings. I love these stockings. Uh, Church did not get a stocking this year. Maybe next year he'll get one. But me and Hayden weren't together on Christmas of this year. I was in San Diego. He was with his family. So we weren't together. So we were like, let's just, I mean, there's no point in getting church a stocking. We did get him a bone and like treats and stuff. But as far as like a stocking, like I also didn't want it to mess with the vibe because I wasn't going to get him like a really nice crate and barrel stocking. Not because he doesn't deserve it, but because he won't appreciate it. Maybe next year. So we have some strands of lights over here that I'm, I know that lights get tangled so, so freaking easily. So I'm gonna put them in the bin, but I think that we might still have like the thing that it came in. So like it came in like a pre-wrapped in like a cylinder wheel thing. So I'm gonna put them in there for now. But when Hayden comes home tomorrow, he can decide if that's the right move or not, or if we want to put them in the wheel. On one hand, it makes me sad to put away the Christmas decorations, but on another hand, it makes me like, I don't know, not excited. Well, yes, excited, but like grateful and appreciative because it's like we're putting the Christmas stuff away and then we'll bring them out again next year for like our second Christmas together. And I feel like it's just, I don't know. It just like makes me happy and like, Excited for the future. It's like so sappy and gross, but like you get it. Now we're gonna take down the mantle. That makes me really sad because I love, or not, we're not taking down the mantle. We're taking down the garland on the mantle. You get it. Look how bare that looks up there. I gotta do something. Also, you guys, I took the world's gnarliest fall earlier. I was going out to the car to grab the two storage things that I got from the container store. Church came outside with me and I left him on the front porch and I told him, I was like, stay. We were practicing stay because I was training and whatever. I was like, stay, stay, stay. And he was staying the whole time. And I was walking backwards telling him to stay. And all of a sudden, like I was wearing Uggs and like Uggs are obviously not the most supportive things in the world. I like clicked my heel in the back and totally just whew, like fell on my ass so hard. I looked back at the security camera to see if I could find it. And it only goes to like literally right before the fall and then it gets me right afterwards so you can see church running after me because after that church was not staying he was like he thought i was playing he was ready to go i don't think i told you guys yet but this weekend my parents are coming into town on thursday i'm doing like a whole like 
fun family birthday thing on Saturday. Not really in the mood to like go out or do anything like that. I just want to stay home, have my family over. So my sisters are coming, my parents are gonna be in town, my aunt, my uncle, like my cousin, her baby, her husband, everyone's coming over and I'm really excited. But because of that, I want the house to be in tip top condition. We're getting cleaners for Thursday, so Thursday morning. Tomorrow we have a very full day ahead of us well first of all i have like a therapy appointment online because i do my therapy like life coaching online at 10 30 that's gonna have to be cut short usually we do it for like an hour we're only gonna have time for like 30 minutes because at 11 the dog trainer comes to give churchy his final lesson so it's his final lesson i thought hayden was gonna be here he's not going to which makes me sad but it's okay um so he's doing his final lesson tomorrow which is like a test that he has to pass i told you guys that earlier and then after that i'm going and getting laser hair removal for the first time ever i'm so excited slash so nervous because i heard with laser like you can't tan and that's a problem for me if you know me that's a problem especially on my birthday weekend like especially on my birthday weekend. So I have a spray tan booked for Thursday. I'm gonna talk to him about it tomorrow and be like, listen, I will, like, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to figure something out. Sorry, I keep touching my hair. I just keep looking at it in the viewfinder and it's like so dark. It's growing on me a little bit. Therapy, trainer, laser, nails, and then come home, work on Killer Instinct. Say hi, Churchy. You're such a pretty boy. You're so pretty. I love you so much. I taught him how to like kiss me. Let's see if he'll do it. <laughs> how cute is that? He's the sweetest and the cutest and I'm just so obsessed with him. So we're gonna get ready for bed. It's time for bed. It is time to get ready. Tomorrow we have a big day. It's about 9.30 right now. So I just wanna get ready for bed. Bed. So I'm actually gonna take one of these extra strength sleep melatonins. It's a five milligram melatonin. It's just by the brand Ollie, I think. Yeah, get my Target, CVS, wherever, off the street. You guys know the drill by now. Neutrogena, every time. Usually takes me two makeup wipes to get all my makeup off. Waterproof mascara is like a blessing and a curse, I swear. Good news is I have a bunch of stuff coming in from Amazon tomorrow, including a water bottle. And I feel like once I get a new water bottle, I don't know why. I'm just like trying to convince myself that once I get this water bottle that like my fitness goals will be back on track because I'll be able to drink more water and like go on walks. I don't know. I'm just, at this point, I'm just grasping for straws. I'm gonna wash my face with the Murad exfoliator right here. Like look at all that extra makeup and stuff that just was gonna sit there. It's gross. And then, then we're gonna take the handy dandy Paula's Choice. This is literally liquid gold. Look how much makeup was still on my face after makeup remover and an exfoliant. Granted, I didn't use a cleanser tonight, but. For the moisturizer, same one that we used in the last vlog, this Terry one, beautiful. Lastly, we're putting on some Paula's choice uh this is the other one the nyakima but instead of trying to do that that's what it is it helps with pores and stuff which is one of my bigger problems now we're gonna take the new face thing real quick and just do a good 10 on the jawline each side just like that all right now we're gonna go to bed i love you and i will see you in the morning good morning that was probably a really scary sight to see obviously i just got out of the shower it's about 9 45 i woke up well i woke up around 7 and then i fell back asleep and went, woke up again around like 8 30 just because i actually slept a lot better than i ever have last night and i think the melatonin really helped but i woke up like a bunch so i just gave myself another like 30 minutes 45 minutes to sleep but i wanted to show you guys the hair product that i bought the other day from the salon because basically the one thing that my hair is really struggling with with right now which my hair girl told me was like the strengthening of my hair my hair is really dead at the ends and it needs a lot of help she recommended this and it's not cheap but i got it this is the kerastase kerastase resistance it's like in french but it's essentially it just means extension mask or something like that when i was there she just put like a little in her hand rub it together i run it through my ends run it through right here it smells amazing i'm gonna blow dry my hair right now and then i'm gonna go downstairs and make my smoothie hi guys okay i'm back i'm like low-key panicking because i don't know what to wear to this thing it's like 
I want to wear loose comfy clothes, but like they're gonna be filming me and I just feel uncomfortable and awkward But I'm thinking just like sweats my Jordans and like just like a tight top and like maybe a vest Is it the vibe like I feel like for laser like you're supposed to be in like loose clothes and comfy But like they're filming me and so I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna wear these like Joa Brown sweatpants I have this like leather vest that I could throw on but like, it makes me look like a linebacker. You need to text the group chat. Okay, my friend said yes to the vest. So either they're just plotting my demise or they actually like it. I don't know. I don't even have the time to know right now. Hey guys, okay, so today is just not gone according to schedule. The laser did not happen. I don't wanna to say too much about it. I don't know whose miscommunication it was. It really isn't that big of a deal. There was some big miscommunication and it didn't happen today. Um, but I am gonna go on Monday. What's kind of convenient is right next to the place I was gonna go get laser is actually the mall. So I got a chance to, I had some time to kill churches at daycare and I also got my nails done. Look, they're like a metallic-y silver and I think that they're so pretty. They're gonna look a lot better tomorrow when I get my tan. Do you guys ever have that mindset of like, okay, it's gonna be fine like once I'm tan? Like that's literally me all the time. But anyways, yeah, I did get the chance to go shopping a little. I went to Abercrombie, Williams, Sonoma, and Sephora. So I'm just gonna show you the majority of the stuff that I got is from Sephora, obviously But I did go to Williams Sonoma. They're like a big kitchen brand I've been looking on their website for a while because they have really good just like Christmassy treats like hot chocolate and peppermint bark and things like that And I've actually had the peppermint hot chocolate sitting in my cart for a very long time and I just have not gotten it but they were moving so they're moving stores so they're having a giant clearance sale anyways so not only was this on clearance it was also 30 percent off so i got two of the peppermint hot chocolate bins um this is just what they look like i just got two of them and they were originally like 24 dollars each which is pretty nuts but um it came down to like 21 dollars altogether so it was like basically two for the price of one which i think is a pretty good deal okay then i ran into abercrombie and also got some on sale items the first one's for hayden for his birthday I just I always get him clothes and things like that and this is no different But the clothes that I get him are always like neutral colors like blacks whites creams beiges grays things like that And I just think he'd look really good in a green Long sleeve shirt. This is like really soft and cozy and I think you can dress it up dress it down And I just think that green would be a really good color on him and it's like a dark green So we're not getting too crazy here second thing that I got is this shirt for myself I got it in a small but I think this is gonna fit just fine. This cute little gray Soft as could be shirt and I just picture myself lounging in it wearing leggings like things like that I think you can never have too many of those but I think that I do so I'm not helping my issue then I went to Sephora. First thing I picked up was I've been telling you guys I want to get back into my skincare, like get my good solid skincare routine, not just like random miscellaneous products. So I got this. This is actually new. It's by Clinique, which I have not used Clinique products in a while. So it's by Clinique and it is their Take the Day Off Charcoal Cleansing Balm. And it looks like this. Okay, so I got that. Then I got this Hyaluronic Acid Serum from the Inky List. I love the Inky List, I think they're amazing. So I just got this little thing of Hyaluronic Acid Serum, looks like that. Then I got this big foundation brush because I wanna try out whatever TikTok trend is trending right now with the makeup about like you do your contour and concealer first and then foundation second. I didn't have a foundation brush, so I just went and got a fluffy foundation brush. It's gonna expand, but I just thought that this would be perfect for that. So I really like that. For skincare, I also got these facial radiance pads. I've loved these, I've used these for so long. I think that these are amazing. They're by First Aid Beauty. Then I also just got the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm. I have two of these in the full size. One's on my nightstand, one's on Hayden's. But I thought that this would be great just for my purse. Whoop. It's just in the single form. So love it. I got it in the grapefruit flavor because I love grapefruit flavored things. Then I got the Ilia Skin Tint, I believe it's called. I got this in the shade 5, which is Bon Bon, I believe. Bon Bon, sorry. Um, hopefully it's the right shade. I think it will be. Yeah, this should be the right shade. And then last but not least, I got the Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder, and I'm so excited about this one i have the house labs powder right now and while i love the powder itself i absolutely cannot stand the uh thing that it comes in like the container i feel like there's a better word for that the packaging sorry the packaging 
Um, I don't like the packaging that it comes in at all. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this one. Very excited to see how it looks like on my skin. Like I said, I like the House Labs powder. Just the packaging that it comes in makes the powder almost unbearable to get out, at least for me. Because I'm like, I'm someone that likes to take the powder, pour it into the cap, and then like take my puff thing and then do it that way. House Labs, you just really can't do that at all. Okay, you guys, I knew that I had Amazon packages coming, but I didn't think I had this many Amazon packages coming. I do think that at least one if not two of these boxes are from my mom because she told me that she ordered some stuff for me for my birthday that was gonna get in today but just look at this so we have all of that and this big one down there as well so i thought we could open them all together let's just start off with the easiest one this guy right here i think this is the water bottle and this is my phone case beautiful but anyways i've had this green phone case for a really long time it looks like this it's now like coming undone it's like broken up there all broken all down here i think i got it from apple but i just got this new one it's from odo fly i think it's called and it's just this really pretty like natural gray color why is this is this too small oh wait we might have an issue it's not that's not how this is supposed to be this is an iphone 12 case and i'm pretty sure i have an iphone 12. just my luck i probably will have an iphone 13 but let's see okay well this is an iphone 13 so we're gonna have to get a new one of that but moving on this next thing is my water bottle and i got it so it, the color would match the phone case because i thought that, that would be really cute this is definitely a heavier box let's see what's inside it's like christmas today this is wild this is the humidifier oh no it's not Oh, this is so fun. This is one of the things my mom got. This is a cast iron fondue kit. I'm such a fondue person. I love cheese fondue. I love chocolate fondue. If you guys know the restaurant, The Melting Pot, I don't know if that's only a West Coast thing, but I haven't seen any out here. But The Melting Pot is like a fondue restaurant and it's so good and fun. Ah, yes, okay. So this is a humidifier that I got the other day because both Hayden and I get really, I don't know if it's just this house or what, but I used to get them all the time. I get sore throats all the time, especially in the winter season with it being so dry. And he's going through it right now with his throat being really dry. And he's convinced a humidifier will change the game. So I just went online the other day. Literally while we were sitting in bed, I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna go get one. So I just ordered one off Amazon. I think this was like 30 bucks or something. It is the Lavoit. It says it's the number one selling whole house humidifier. And so we're gonna try this out tonight. Next box, oh, I got Church Giant Bone. He loves these bones. So we have like four of those around the house and that will occupy him for hours, it's amazing. Anywho, I got this sports bra from a brand that's supposed to be like pretty much a Lululemon dupe. And just from the feel of it, this is really nice. And I love the intricate back to it i think that that's really pretty okay next up it's like a big oversized crew neck and it's just in black i just need more basic oversized crew necks and i feel like you can never have enough so that's why i got this one because i don't have a, just a basic oversized black crew neck and i feel like that's a problem so i fixed it this is my ring light so i've been doing this quite a long time and i've gone through it with different types of lighting and things like that um i started out with this exact ring light it is the newer ring light and i started out with that and then i used pillow lights and then right now i'm using these horrible 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 lights for killer instinct on my thoughts exactly i hate them um so i in a fury of frustration the other day bought my original ring light that i absolutely loved so i'm so excited and i kind of even though i just started like putting together like my thoughts exactly and killer instinct like thing like backdrop and whatever i already have a new vision of what i want it to look like so we might be switching it up now i need to put all this shit away because the cleaners come in the morning but i feel like i have to clean for the cleaners like i feel like i have to put everything away and like organize everything so they can just like kind of come in and clean and do their thing because i don't want anything in their way i'm gonna do that right now and then we're gonna go upstairs we're gonna do my skincare okay time for skincare with our fun new products we're gonna use this cleansing balm by clinique the charcoal cleansing balm how do you use this use dry fingertips to massage over the skin if you say so clinique so it like heats up or like the warmth of your fingers heats it up 
This can't be right. I don't know. I don't know if I trust this. I feel like maybe your face is supposed to be wet first because this just doesn't make any sense. And I feel like my something's supposed to be wet. It has to be my face. But it is doing a really good job of taking my makeup off, which I like. Oh, there we go. Okay, I feel like that's a little bit better. Maybe I just needed to get a little bit more. Now we use the radiance pads. These are my favorite. I love these. It does its job. See, that's just like one side of my face. How gross is that? <gasps> Look. We hit 10,000 steps. Okay, next we're gonna apply this moisturizer. And last but not least, just using the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Oil. Okay, now before we go to bed, we're going to use the new face, this guy right here. I really should take before and after pictures with this thing. Like doing it consistently every day for like three weeks or two weeks or just one week and seeing if it actually makes a difference. Beautiful. With that being said, we are done with the skincare for the night. My skin is glowy, it's clean, and it feels good. So now I'm gonna hit the hay. It's about 8.53. I have my water bottle. I'm gonna get in bed, watch a little TikTok. Maybe a little master chef, and then call it a night because tomorrow we have a big day. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Good night.